Now, the name of this book is Getting Naked for Money, An Accidental Travel Writer Reveals All. That sure grabs your attention, right? Well, author Edie Darlam is here to tell us about it. Edie, let's just start with the obvious. How did you come up with the name of this book? <laughs> well, it evolved from an assignment that I had from a woman's magazine. They called me and they said, would you be willing to go to a nudist resort undercover <laughs> and uncovered? <laughs> <laughs> That's a way and to put it. I thought, hmm, they, they must think I'm shameless. <laughs> but I said yes, because I'll try anything once, and it okay. was a strange experience. So that's not what all the book is about. It's just the first chapter. And then it's also a metaphor for revealing about my life. So it, and, you know, getting naked, writing for magazines and telling all. So that's, it's a tell all about the publishing world also. Well, that's a great way to start us into the first chapter is kind of hit us with that <laughs> well, story. Exactly. And then exactly. kind of back us in. Now, you did say, you know, you were on assignment and now you live here in Tucson. Mm -hmm. How is it that you ended up here? Well, I decided I was working in travel publishing in New York, and I really wanted to be a writer, and I went through all kinds of phases in my life, and I finally decided that if I want to be a writer and start fresh, I needed to go someplace that nobody knew me, and I could, I could just begin anew. And I chose Tucson for many reasons, including the warm weather, but one of the reasons that I always tell people is that I had a, I was an editor at Photos Travel Guides in New York, and I had a really good writer for the Tucson chapter. <laughs> so wow. travel writing is important. It can change lives. Wow. Well, of course, you say that you wanted to go somewhere where no one knew you, but right. now we do know you now because you <laughs> now we know you um, through the writings that you do about food. That's right. So how did, again, how did we get there? That's a good question. I've been, I realize now I've been here for more than 22 years. Mm -hmm. And I started writing for Tucson Guide magazine about food, and I'm the contributing dining editor for that magazine. And um, I'm trying to remember how I first got connected with them through a friend of a friend, yeah. and they asked me to do a story. And the restaurant ch scene has changed just so much since I've been here. Now I write for other publications, too. I also write for um, Edible Baja, and that's, that's a great publication, too. So we, we have some really good restaurants. We have some really good magazines. So, you know, moving from New York, everybody says you move to a small town. But things are pretty exciting here. Oh, yeah. You know. Well, you have my dream job, just talking about food all the time. If, if I didn't do this, that would, would be what I w would want to do. Mm -hmm. But I can't also uh, miss the fact that you brought your dog with you today. <laughs> I she did. She's super gorgeous. Who did you bring and why? I brought Madeline. Hi, um, and Madeline is, well, my last book was a, a book about uh, dogs, and it was called Am I Boring My Dog? And Madeline is looking a little bit bored, although she seems to be looking <laughs> into the camera very directly and cutely. So um, anyway, a lot of people who were interested in this new book came to me as an audience because of my dog book. And also, everybody's always asking about what's your next book, and I, I think it's going to be a dog book because as you can see oh yeah here are a few oh. dogs <laughs> that my friends I, oh. I did a facebook promotion my book was on sale for um for uh cyber monday for 99 yeah. cents and so i had people post on facebook oh. as a promotion and so all my my dog friends on facebook <laughs> came up with uh, well Edie, you are a woman after my heart because dogs, food, traveling, crazy stories. But not, but not getting naked. And no, but not, yeah, yeah. That part I'm not really sure about. But I Neither know, was I. This book is full of some great stories. It's fun. Thank you for coming by and thank you for bringing Madeline with you. Oh, well, thanks for having me. I'm going to remind everyone how they can get a hold of your book. Now, you can actually get a signed copy of Edie's book by visiting any of the locations listed on your screen. So take a look. You can also visit EdieJerome.com.